marvelous. With only taking 2% of your power, my body is completely restored. At least for the moment. Just who are you anyway? You really are not the Rukul that died in the KOF. As soon as I achieve my goal, your services will no longer be needed. And you will die in the ignorance. You will be nothing but another victim in my might. I must say, that kind of speech is very similar to what the real Rugal would say. Hmm. Mr. Big, what brings you here? I gave direct instructions that I did not want to be disturbed while I am regenerating my cells. Huh. One of these days, I must teach you some proper manners. For now, I am simply here to tell you that our satellites have informed us that K-Dash, his team, and three of the Ikari soldiers are headed towards Sector 9-T. I will give you another mission. Kadesh and his allies are running towards Sector 9T. Your mission will be to finish them off and bring me their heads. Kadesh? I see. I guess this battle was inevitable. In a certain way, I was looking forward to this fight. Me and Isolda have been wishing for this. Yes, it will be a very interesting battle indeed. My only regret is that I won't be able to witness it. Now go! He is going to use me and Nameless just like he did with Kulizod. But what choice do I have? What choice do any of us have? You, Nameless, why do you follow that man? Don't you see how cool he is? I can see that deep in your heart you are completely different from him, and you cry for all the ones he slaughters and uses. Why do you do that? For Isolda. Isolda? She wasn't at DK, like you are now. But she died because of so many disastrous experiments. But her very essence lives in my glove. I work for nests because they are the only ones who can bring her back to life. I obey the professor just as I obey nests. I kill whoever I must with a single dream to seeing her smile to me again. That is a mistake! I don't care what you say, but that is a selfish reason to take other people's rights to live. Be quiet, you irritating pest! I know that you lost a good friend of yours as well as your robot follower. If you were in my place, would you not do the same? Yes, I would, if I was as weak-minded as I was before. What? I lost people I loved, but they never died in my spirit because they're still alive in my memory. <sighs> words, words, words! Those are nothing but empty words! What good are the memories if the one person you hold dear is not beside you? Tell me what good that will do! As long as their memories live in me, that is good enough. There is no way that the dead can return from the dead. I know that. The only thing I can do is fight for the ones who are still alive. To go as far as I can go because of what I feel for those people. There is a big difference between that and having people like you who denies other people's lives for your own selfishness. If you keep on like that, you will even forget the very image of Isolda. <laughs> what did you say? That is enough! Go and do your job, Nameless. If you are really a true fighter, you will obey your desire to fight K. As you wish. Professor. Your loudmouth almost cost me my best fighter. But the one thing you've never...
ever counted on was his desire to see his love again. There will be nothing that stands in his way to achieve his goal. Nothing! I have chosen this path. Me and me alone. I will accept this and go as far as I can go to achieve my aim. And Kula is wrong. I will never forget the face of the one I love. Never. That miserable pest is becoming a big mouth. Because of her, I almost lost my strongest minion. I can start to see that I'm practically losing my control over Nameless. And even Angel! As soon as I manage to exploit the power of this orb, I shall dispose of them at once. This is the very thing that Ignis has studied for so long. This orb is not of this world. It's practically alien. By studying this alien artifact, Ignis managed to control all the data he collected from all the fighters of the world. But sadly, Ignis did not collect all the power of this orb. But now, with all the data I am collecting from all the fights I've created all over the world, I will harness its power and reach the one knowledge that science could never obtain. Immortality! There's the island. It sure seems deserted. It's amazing how this island was never shown in our satellites. According to what Diana said, it was completely vital for nests to keep this island unseen. Okay, let's find a place to land and start our investigation. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm in a Lord of the Rings movie. Stop your foolishness, this is serious. Look at this scientific junk. It's all over the place. True, it's like they have been abandoned for more than a year. But these tracks are fresh. I would say they are at least a few months old. Hmm. Curious. That's practically the time when the attack of those fighters started. So our foes must have come to this island first. So, what do we do now? Let's follow the tracks! <sighs> I hate following orders.
You know, Hyodern wasn't kidding when he said this place seems... medieval. And everywhere we go, we find more texts. Whatever it is that Nest studied here must have been an important secret for Ignis to be so reserved about it. What could be in a place like this? Hey guys! Look here! Just check out this joint! Now what would a Japanese ancient castle be doing on an island like this? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> 